Minus the bow. Well, you know, it's, it's the holidays. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. All right, guys, this is for real the new project car. Since uh, Ford won't fix my, my red Mustang, we're gonna get this one. I'm just kidding, again. All right, so we are looking at this PP2 here and uh, I'm a big, big fan, but we love these wheels. So LMR just came out with these wheels and uh, we're, we're discussing um, the finish. You know, the, the offsets are a little bit different. This is a 10 and a half by 11, three or fives all around, 30 tall tire. Um, and in person, they don't look too skinny. I know on pictures and video they do, but um, I think they look really good. I think that I might need these in my life. They look really good. But uh, I don't know if I can afford like four grand for OEM. But the knockoffs are pretty close. But what we're talking about is the finish. I think that these have a brighter finish than what maybe the SVE from LMR have. Not really sure, but 305s all the way around. I really like this this front splitter here. It looks absolutely uh, great. Performance two package adds a little bit more. Uh, comes out a little bit more, but it's it's sharp. Yeah. Of course, it's a manual only. Not much difference from, from your vehicle. This is a very, very, very awesome. I, you know, I, I kind of wish that they would have given us the option for the spoiler. As I like the PP1 spoiler, you know, on this with the, the more aggressive lip, I think would have looked really this good. Is a little bit more of the traditional. Yeah, it, it is. It is. And I guess it's there for some airflow too, um, just to streamline it a little bit. A lot of people don't know about like aerodynamics, but you can have a fat front end, but if it kind of tapers, the more tapers in the back, the more it slips through, like the Ford GT. Especially with that dam, where that, that air dam up front. Yeah, and it hunkers it down a little bit, yep. Um, but that was a big part of like the why they developed the Ford GT, like they did in the back, or it kind of like teardrops. Um, just makes it so much faster, but yeah, the width is good. You know, this is something. Yeah, I'm very, very jealous of that. Is the how these poke a little bit? You know, my PB1 wheels they sink in, but these poke just especially, a little bit. The front, uh, you'll see them a lot more. So that is how that looks. And it's not a white body. <laughs> no, same same body, same body. That would be the only difference, and that's basically it with uh, Shelby American with right. the wide body. Yeah. And this is this car here. It's a 401A. It has all of these options here, and uh, that's about the same sticker that I paid for mine. And I think it's worth it. I know a lot of people cry over fifty thousand dollar Mustangs, but you got to think about the technology that goes into them. If you want a stripped out race car. You can do that. You can go buy out there and uh, you can certainly buy, you know, a cloth interior Mustang and you rightfully probably should if you're gonna change all of that. But I think if uh, you want something that's just ready to go, this might be your animal right here. It's already got a bow tie on it. It's ready, ready to be picked up. It's ready. it's ready, somebody needs to buy this. Well, the term is you get what you pay for. You get what you do, you get what you pay for. Um, yeah, I need these wheels. I like this. I did the MMD splitter on mine. So without bolting anything down right now, I can already tell you that everything is going to be, once it's bolted up, an OEM fit and finish. This looks really cool. Very, very impressed so far. And I'm still a big fan of the OEM piece. I think it looks just a little bit better being two tiered up. Is me? Yeah, he's taking pictures. Is that you? Uh, no, no, no. I have, I have a red one. Huh? This is red. Mine is red. Red is black. Red and black. Red and black is what you need. Look how pretty that red is with that black. Well, a red Mustang and a black Mustang right beside each other. Mrs. Zander needs needs a Mustang. This, yeah, yeah. I'll give her the red one. I'll take the black there one. You get, that's how you do it. There you go. That's right. <laughs> yep. And when you want to drive it, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> you drive hers. You want to drive your your standard. And it's a manual. stick shift. Everybody it's thinks they can't drive anymore because they have an automatic. Yeah, it's a stick manual. shift. This is uh, I've always called a PP2 like a GT350 light. 
I think it's it's really what these things are. There's some separation between them with the, the cooling and stuff that you have for the track that the GT350 has, but... More but accents, too, on the inside, so you kind of uh, with the white stitching. Yeah. So that actually kind of pops a little bit. Yeah. With the, with the bullet, you got the green stitching. Yeah, and he's you're a big bullet fan. I'm a bullet fan. Yeah, you, you like the, <laughs> the, the wheels and, and the badgeless design. Yep. You know, you can't delete those. You'll still have holes in a fender, but you can put black badges on it. It'll look really good. And, and I love the Highland Green. The Highland Green, yeah. I love it. And that's exclusive to the bullet. Yeah, it's, they're pretty. But you want a track toy that's got blind spot monitoring, all that? This is it. It is locked up, so... I like it. If I didn't have mine and I wanted a stick shift, this would be it. I wouldn't even, here's something else too is um, I would choose, me personally, would choose this over GT350. Yeah. Uh, because price. But. One, there is a big difference in your price with the GT350. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's numbered, it's badged, it's limited production. You have, you know, you got a couple uh, color options decals but I, I kind of like kind of going this direction a big reason though for me is technology yeah. the 350 is cut down because it's a track monster this has all the stuff well, that mine has the especially the R the so R my buddy R Tunnel Chaser just bought one he traded Dodge Demon for an R and it he's got no no radio no back seats nothing. he bought yeah. he wanted a it's lightweight fun. manual fast toy that's what they are. They're like Miatas. I don't blame them, but if I'm going to spend that kind of money, I, I really want to have some comfort. Me too. You know? Me too. I like listening to tunes, you know? I, I uh... You know, but, i got to have air conditioning. But the GT350 exhaust is your music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, this is great. Um, if you want something that will perform on track, because you do get... can't really see. But same interior as mine. Leather Recaros. Digital gauge cluster. Digital gauge cluster. Accent lighting. All of it. I think it looks really sharp. Yeah, so all the, all the stuff. Yeah. Yours has the gauge cluster too, right? Yeah, I've got it all. Thing is awesome. I have everything that this has, yep. except for the wheels. I need those wheels. I think I probably prefer the air dam that you have on your car a little bit over this one, but I, I do like how. I mean, this is stock. Right, yeah, you, you yeah. You can't get any more OEM than this. This is this is a stock GT, um, but performance too, Pat. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's loaded. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. I like it a lot. That was that's the benefit with the bullet though, because you're kind of getting aspects of the 5.2. Right. But on the 5 liter. Yeah. So. Well, if you guys want this particular vehicle, you come see this guy right here, Jen you. Jenkins and Wynn Ford, Clarksville, Tennessee. And then he will gladly sell you this beautiful black PP2. I need to get out of here before I buy it. So I'll see you guys later. So oh, this has got the same motor as the Raptor. And it's in that ruby red. So it's, it's sharp. What is that stuff in the center? Oh, that's just a logo. Oh, it's, it's badged. It's numbered. Um, and then they changed the seats. There you got go. rid of that blue leather, so it looks just like uh, the Super Duties, the Super Duty Limited. Gloss is just so good, so smooth. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of the gloss too, but uh, something is coming. Something is coming, guys. Big so surprise. Big, big surprise. surprise. Oh man, I can't wait to see that on the Rob, channel, man. So Rob has the exclusive. He now knows what it is. You can't know yet, but it has something to do with the front end. And it's gonna shock you. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna look so good. Oh yeah. So good. It's gonna match well with the splitter, with the new hood vents. It's gonna match well with all that stuff. It's gonna look awesome. So, um, I know we're supposed to do this uh, steering wheel install. Is this a bad time to tell you I don't know what I'm doing? No. <laughs> I'm just, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so yeah, we'll get it in the garage and let me clean the garage up a little bit, and then uh, we'll get started. All right. Sounds good. Your neighbors off, but... Oh, and they love it. They love it. They like loud noises. Oh yeah. Give me a, a low rev, and then I'll give you a high rev. That's good. <laughs> 